Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to once again Gran Turismo 7. Uh, in the second part of the series here of trying to get gold trophies or gold medals, still not quite sure what they're necessarily called yet, in the super license tests. So for today we've got the Ferrari F50 on the very famous Italian track of Monza. All right, so my record to beat is a 204.96. Uh, this is the first attempt for today. First of many for sure. We're trying out the bumper cam here. So we're going to come into turn one, hot. And have a very <laughs> disgraceful shameful exit so I think we need to be turning before or breaking before the 200 marker oh boy so if you can tell uh, the ghost is offset by 0 0.2 of a second here so I can kind of I wouldn't say predict or anything but I can loosely see where they're going prior to actually getting there I'm, I have no idea how he's hitting that corner yet. That would make sense as to why I've got two seconds to shave off here because man oh man. Tim Buck says they're supposed to be breaking sooner and that is the case. Oh god. We're going to be in for a long one. You would think that being a Ferrari of the mid to late 90s that this would handle better than it does. But this just seems like it handles like a giant boat. And how many minutes am I behind now? I don't even see them anymore. So we know here this is still before 200. Late, 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 late. Too late. Okay, before 200. Get a feeling that. That was just a stupid mistake. <laughs> so I'm looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> I noticed that there's like three. So there's that one. There's this thing here. And then I want that one there. Oh, that is just funny. Uh, nope, garbage run. We're done. I think they had a better exit, though. Ah, this is where it all goes wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I deserve that one. Can really cut on the inside of the curb, break a little bit there, and miss out. <laughs> so let's try that again. All right, so we got number two and number three. It's a good spot. Down to second gear. Coasting a little bit. There we go. Nice. The grip came a little bit sooner than it's normally came. And uh, definitely was able to have a pretty good exit there. Full throttled through that section. Again, it feels so, so, so dangerous. And right as you're living on the edge type thing. So we can cut the corner there a little bit. Make up some pretty good time there. We'll break a little bit before the 50. Stay on third gear. Go a little bit wide. 
Yep, lost quite a bit of time there, to be honest. Get up on the curb there, have a decent exit. Now we're just right on the cusp, I, I feel it. We are right on the edge of that, of the time that we're trying to hit. We can brake a little bit before the 200. Full pressure on the brakes. Go on the inside of there. Coach just a tiny bit. Feather the throttle a little bit. Full throttle back through here. Touch the inside corner. Don't even have to go so wide to touch the outside curb. So we keep on shooting for our 200 marker. We're going to be a little bit aggressive here. Just a little bit after it. Kind of let it coast out. Correct it back on the inside. It's going to be close. 58, 59, 2 minute, 2 minute point 0.9. Oh. Wow. So kind of like what I was saying last time towards the end of uh, S1. It felt like you're making incremental um, improvements. But that there, uh, I didn't feel like I did a whole lot different. I felt like I had a couple of good areas. I still had quite a few mistakes. I can go back and go change it. Uh, but to be able to shave off a, a second and a half in a single run, it's just mental. Absolutely mental. <laughs> Oh. But to be quite frank, I think that is a very easy time almost to hit. If it were 201.5, I could see a lot more people struggling with that. But I think that was definitely one that was a little bit more easier, per se. We have two gold trophies now in the super license tests. Uh, next week, it appears, and I mean, not next week, it might be a little bit longer than that, but next time, we're going to be doing the uh, Nissan Sliva. I've never been able to pronounce that correctly. The Nissan S15 touring car at the Tsubaka? Tsukaba. Tsukuba. Tsukuba Circuit. For all of our Japanese viewers, I sincerely apologize for the offensive pronunciation of, of a wonderful circuit. So bear with me on that. So again, thanks so much for watching. And of course, if you enjoyed this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below what times you guys were able to get on the Monza track with uh, the F50 for S2. So again, uh, comment down below your times. Comment down below if you've had any other tracks that have been kind of your Achilles heel. Of course, we all know and love it S10, so I imagine most of you have had the same problems I have. But again, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely helps around here. Up to 56 subscribers, so woohoo. <laughs> again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.